Hello children. Good morning. I am taking a English subject. Okay. Then before starting the class, let me discuss what I have taught you in the last class. Then now I am going to ask you some questions. You have to answer those questions. Those are seated beside you. Okay. Nina, ni majjo ba jyaar kiti tarla aur ye ni ei marve kiu answer marve ko. Very non questions ke ek mere niu silent type kudo dala. Okay. Then if you know the answer, just you have to say yourself. Okay. If nobody is seated with you. Okay. Next. Then which lesson I have taught you in the last class? Lost and found. Okay. The lost means losing something, found means getting something. Okay. Then who are, there are two main parts in this story, right? Two friends were Rumi and Runa. Okay. Then where they were playing? They were playing in a park. Then what they found while they were running? They found a purse. Okay. Then what that woman gave them that woman gave them a ice cream okay then what happened again i have started you and also i made you to write these all the questions in h row okay then clearly i am telling you children make a two books okay h row and c row h row for whatever we are going to teach you in the class you have to note it in a h row okay then after 15 minutes we may visit to your room right then that time we will see all the notes whatever you have written in the class and whatever homework you have done okay till i say you to write in a cw no need to write anything in a cw just keep that cw aside okay beside you okay yen madbeku erad books madbeku erad books madidan mele yavdu cw dro matra enannu barivaadu in class we aim teach madlikattivala adne en madbeku ni h group dro note madkobeku even homework nu kuda ಆ ಡೇಟ್ ಏನ್ ಹಾಕಿರ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಆ ಡೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಏನ್ ಇರ್ತೈತಿ ಹೋಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಕೂಡ ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟಾಂಡ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ನಾ ದೆನ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಡಿಡಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಲರ್ನ್ ಡಿಟೇಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಯು ದ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ grammar whatever they have given at the end of your chapter okay then i told you abstract and concrete nouns okay abstract means what do you mean by abstract abstract means nouns that denote the quality okay if i have given uh, the boy is a the rama is a very good boy okay very good boy quality of a good okay that indicates the quality of a rama that good is a abstract noun okay then we will start with today page number 6 okay see here. look at the underline nouns look at page number 5 itself i have stopped up to here i will continue i am going to continue from here look at the underline nouns in the sentences below say whether they are concrete or abstract okay see here, just the aroma of this cake is fantastic okay the aroma of this cake is fantastic aroma means that is a abstract noun okay next fantastic is a sorry fantastic fantastic is a abstract noun how it is it is a very fantastic okay the man was a famous for his kindness who is very kindness the man its kindness is a quality of a man okay that kindness is a is a example for the abstract noun the noun which describes or a, describes the quality that we called as a abstract noun okay next we move on to the page number 6 open page number 6 children see while you are sitting for class you should sit with your textbook okay at those who are not taken textbook you have to take understood now third one justice has been served justice is a concrete served is a abstract noun okay whenever i come home my dog face lights up with a happiness happiness is a example for the abstract noun okay the child was a full of hope hope is a abstract noun okay then we will start with the today's grammar section that is countable and uncountable what is that countable sorry
countable and uncountable now okay the countable and uncountable now they have given that in about the now in this six page okay see as a name indicates the name itself says countable means which is able to count okay which is able to count just give me an example which you can count you can count the fingers which are there in your hand and which are there in your uh, leg also okay then you can count the desk benches which are there in your classrooms okay the noun which is countable we can count it easily by the finger or with the help of scale or with the help of something okay that we call as a countable noun okay then give me example for countable nouns So duster, duster is an example for countable. How many dusters are there? One duster. It's an example for a countable noun. Then another one example. How many students are there in your class? Then as you have attendance, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. It's the strength of your classroom. The students is an example for the countable noun. Okay. Then another one example. How many windows are there in your class? That is also a example for a countable noun okay next next we move on to the uncountable nouns uncountable means we can count the planets okay how many planets are there eight or nine okay then we can't count the stars in the sky can we able to count the stars okay no that is highly impossible so we call as a uncountable noun okay then another one example leaves in a tree that is also uncountable okay we can count it but it will take a time okay then the water in the ocean can we can we count okay it's the example for the uncountable noun then milk is also a example for the uncountable we can't what we can't count those with the help of fingers or a single digits okay then count it so that is an example for the uncountable nouns okay now we will see those example and definitions in this textbook now read these sentences would you like a tof toffee have a, have some milk the words toffee and milk are both nouns the bilkul noun hai next that toffee is also a noun but toffee is a countable noun while milk is a uncountable toffee means that is a chocolate or milk that is countable how many do you have you may count it easily but how many do you have if we give you a milk we can we can't count it okay then noun that have a singular and plural form are called as a countable noun see a singular and a plural form shoe shoes socks socks okay pair that is also a example for the uncountable noun okay next nouns that can't be counted and have have only singular form are called as a uncountable nouns means milk next is bread okay now write it countable and uncountable okay countable and uncountable see nouns right c o u n t a b l e countable now that have that have singular and plural forms singular and plural forms
the example is shoe shoes shoe shoes example okay see so, countable nouns that have singular and plural forms are called as a countable nouns you have to note this definition in your hw okay the second one is uncountable what is uncountable first one is countable second one uncountable uncountable okay nouns that have nouns that cannot be or can't be cannot be counted counted and have and have only only the singular form the singular form singular form are called are called uncountable so if you are not looking at the board clearly you have to see that definition in your textbook it's they have given in this textbook okay nouns that cannot be counted and have only a singular form are called as no uncountable nouns if i start to write these all the definitions on the board i hope that time may time may waste so what i am telling you that is example is milk and bread it is an example for the uncountable nouns okay next we move on to the next question that is also in a sixth page only look at the underlined nouns in the sentences below this let's see this sentence i am going to reading now look at the underlined nouns in the sentences below say whether they are countable or count uncountable here they have given them one complete sentences and also they have underlined some words okay look at this sentence the tree look at your textbook the tree is covered with the snow they have given one sentence what is that the tree is covered with the snow okay then what they told here which is a countable and uncountable and also they have underlined two words which word they have underlined there tell me now or tell to your parent read those words first word is tree second one is snow okay then what they said you they have under which word they have underlined you have to tell those words whether it is a countable or a uncountable okay tree is a countable okay then we can count a tree in our field 1 2 3 4 5 like that we can't count the snow then here which is a countable noun first one that is tree is a countable noun okay snow is a uncountable noun see what i am telling you if you are not seeing these words or seeing these sentences you have to observe in a textbook okay next second one would i have a cup of tea would i have a cup of tea then they have underlined cup cup we can see only one cup is there we can count it okay coffee can we count it's highly impossible to count the coffee okay that is an example for the uncountable noun next third one see here. is there any butter left butter is example for the uncountable noun okay can we count it with the digits 1 2 3 like that butter na ki count mari kaate tha no so then i don't have any money i don't have any money money is an example for the countable you can count it mari hing 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 this bodala so that is an example for the uncountable sorry countable no okay the water is cold the water is uncountable is nothing but though which is there in a liquid form like that okay then we can count it with the help of standard measurements that is not considered here which we use to count up fingers okay that we called as a countable nouns okay then we move on to the collective nouns okay 
then just now what i have discussed here countable and uncountable nouns okay countable example now yes beralanike inda count madok sadhya vagodaka yen anta helthi now countable nouns anta but if anybody give you a chocolate what you say how many chocolates are there one chocolate two chocolate three chocolate four chocolate like this you use to tell them okay then if they give you the water then how many how many anta answer baruttha nim kade illa okay how much anta baruttha how many anta barakilla okay that is an example for the uncountable nouns okay i hope you all understood and got clear okay next we move on to the collective nouns which is that now collective noun collective noun see collective noun means as a name indicate not the noun the name only describing collective collection कलेक्शन ऑफ ड्रेसेस ड्रेस कलेक्शन हर अंतर कलेक्शन बहुत दट इज एक्सापल फॉर द कलेक्टिव नौन जस्ट यू मे एक्सापल फॉर कलेक्ट कलेक्ट बहुत बंच ऑफ की बंच ऑफ की की अंदर बहुत की पक्का पर्फेक्ट वाट मीन बंच ओके बंच ऑफ ट्री सारी बंच ऑफ लीव ओके बंच ऑफ की that bunch is the example for the collective noun now we will discuss and see the examples whatever they have given in this textbook okay read the sentence the class was completely quiet the noun class denotes a collection of students here instead of saying the students with a class just we used to tell that just a class 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 only are the ganakar holu bandirtave illa the class ke antara dodd dodd officer senru band kurtara no class is nothing but the it's a group of students okay if i said bring a class children bring a class children antu one class yavudu it may be a fifth standard fourth standard third standard class antu obbo obbo ondond children bartare illa class andre ellaru kudidikke class is nothing but a group of children or a group of students okay that class is an example for the collective noun okay the noun that denote a collection of a similar people okay similar people means same people so if ellaru ellaru soldiers irtare okay soldiers nodidra ella soldier obba obba soldier ima soldier ima soldier the army army means it's a group of soldiers the same people okay soldiers ellaru unda obra yaradru formal dresses ku inobru uniform kodutare no they have a perfect uniform and they have own their dignity okay those people we call as a, or those such a group we call as a collective noun okay then if a collection of teachers we call as a staff okay next second one is army the group of soldiers is called as a army okay next gang thieves you gang one not wrong thieves andre कलबरी कल 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 कूड़ी बहुत मंदिर कड़ा आ कल गुंप ग्रूपल फॉर दलेक्टिव phenomena of nature day and night these two are the phenomena of nature okay that is not an example for any noun okay it was a dark night and the forest looked dangerous okay see here they have underlined here two words which are which words they have underlined there first one is a night second one is a forest okay if you go for forest what you will see you will see many trees okay then that the collection of trees we call as a, or a example for the collective noun then forest is called as a collection of 
trees that is an that forest is an example for the collective noun i hope you may clear okay then if a group of students seated in the one room that we called as a class okay then they have underlined their two words first one night second one is a forest this is night is a phenomenon day and night these are all natural phenomenon okay then that uh, forest is a word that is a group of trees okay then second one where did i keep my bunch of keys okay that bunch means bahalas key kudithik bahalas enu kudithik bunch anta kadithi okay that is an example for the collective noun okay next look out there is a swarm of bees bees body kudithika enta kadithina swarm anta kadithivi that is an example for the collective noun i hope you may clear okay. second the woman felt lost in a crowd crowd means a group of people is to crowd anu allathe crowd means dana karvali irala alli people sir sir people sikka bitte idirodike anta karidino crowd anta karitivi okay that crowd is an example for the collective noun okay next the team came home with the trophy sir the team came home with a trophy trophy okay team whatever it may be it may be a team of cricket or a team of volleyball or a team of then kho kho like that okay that team means similar people are there similar people means those who are participating in that particular game okay that team is called as an example for the collective noun that trophy is a thing okay i hope you may clear with the collective noun uncountable noun and countable noun okay next look at this vocabulary today i am going to finish it off vocabulary okay alphabetical order using the second letter of the word look at the following words okay they have given there some words you have to arrange those words in a alphabetical order alphabetical order means higa see there alphabetical order is you know c b a c e j f is it an alphabetical order no how many alphabets are there 26 alphabets those alphabets or those arranged in a correct manner that is set we called as a alphabet then let me start with the first, first alphabetic which is our first alphabetic a okay a after that b okay after that c after that d so if d comes here if a comes here then b comes here c comes here and d goes here it is not an alphabetical order it's a jumbling word jumbling letter ulta palta okay if you start with a b c d like that that is an order of a alphabetic okay alphabetical order ga bari antante first nam yen irbeku a letter e irbeku adu illa at least next after a aagutiddi b irtiddi d e illa andre after a c irtiddi okay na nodta hogbeku a ninna start aagangilla after alphabetical order la a next yavu bartiddi letter b bartiddi okay then we have to see the words we start with the b okay then they have given here some words let me write on the board avare em martare which words put it alphabetical order bare beku ant alphabetical order na a b c d ne irbeku b a c d alla it's absolutely wrong it's not an alphabetical order okay it's a jumbling ulta palta hmm some words they have given here see bad bad honey okay next igloo igloo shawl yeah okay they have given here some words bad it may be a thing or a For that the bird okay honey next it's a sweet sweet next igloo it's a home which we found in a, a river okay shawl next egg 
these are the words then you have to arrange these words not the letters in a alphabetical order okay it's the word started with a b then this is the word started with a h okay it's the word started with a i it's the word started with a letter s okay then it's the word started with a letter y it's a y k a k y a k a k i hope you are all s h a w l okay here idhen now the consider na we do full word na alla okay first yav letter barthe namge alphabetical order andre h barthita e barthita b barthita a barthita okay a in the start down and the word will yav illa next after that b ita b it b okay then we have to write here first back b a t back after that c in the start of the word yav A B C D इल्ला इल्ला F no G no H is here then you have to write here H O N T Y after that I after that G L M N O P Q R S yes you have to write here S after that F okay that it means they are arranging words already in alphabetical Order only. Okay. Next, they have been written in alphabetical order. Order. Okay. Then second one is meet, manner, mud, movement, and miss movement. Mud. They have given here some words. We have to arrange those in a alphabetical order. Okay. Next. I'm going to conclude this here only. Why? Because they have given here some example that is for your homework. Otherwise, if I solve all the exercise here only, I am I am promise you you won't work on it. Okay? Now, all the solve mudi the under you absolutely you will work mudala. Okay? Then this one I am giving you in a textbook itself. No need to write this all the in H W like that. Okay? Whatever I taught you in the class, you have to write in H W. But today's homework I am giving you in a textbook. Okay? I hope you all understood the class children. See here, I told you to make a two books. Keep that sheet of room beside you until I say you to write anything on that notebook. You should not use it. Okay. Then first we arrange the following. Complete page number seven in the textbook. Okay. What is the homework today? Homework. Arrange the following words. Arrange, arrange the following, arrange the following words in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order, which are given in the textbook. Which are given in a textbook. Okay. Page number seven. Okay. Say so page. It's a page number seven. I have given you to do this homework in a textbook itself. Okay. Then after this, the first chapter is going to finish now. Finish picture composition. Look at the picture below. Write the paragraph. Using the words in the box. This one I will give you homework in the next class. Okay, that is also in a textbook. Whatever textbook homeworks I am giving you yourselves. Okay, then second chapter that is summer camp. Summer camp. We will start the second chapter in the next class. Okay, before that class I am going to just discuss or discuss about this chapter that is summer camp. Summer camp means Then whatever tour or a picnic we are going in a summer season that we call as a summer camp. In this, in your lesson, second lesson, they have given about the summer camp about what and where they went, what they have done, then for which purpose they went. They will they went with our family or else we have to discuss in the 
la next class okay thank you children i hope you all understood this class whatever homework we are giving you in the class please be regular be do the regular homework okay thank you we will continue in the next class